what's good, what's good, this is your host Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode, New Jersey police officers protect white racist man. By now, I know you all heard of the white supremacist. Who, went on, who ran on a racist rant by harassing his black neighbors. I'm sure y'all heard of it now. But I just want to pinpoint a couple of things. I want to pinpoint a couple of things to you. Let me show y'all this video right here. Let me show y'all a clip right here. This is the clip I want to show y'all right here. Check it out. Pull this up a little bit so y'all can see it. All right. Right here. I want you to see how this man is comfortable enough to walk up to another officer and ask him, what is he doing here? You got to remember, this man is being racist. This man is harassing people. And he's comfortable enough to walk up to a police officer and ask him, white, what the F you doing here? Check it out. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, white, why are you back over here? Somebody called me. Someone called you. It's private property. You have no jurisdiction here whatsoever. I do. None. Somebody calls me. Hold on. Back back you know up, what? Bro. Hold on. Back Gary. Up. No, no, no. Back I'm going to let you do your thing. Go talk to these fucking niggers. Go ahead. Stop, stop, Fuck stop. you. Go talk to the niggers. Let them know what I'm all about and what their fucking rights they have. All right. You want to go back to your house? I'll come back to you. No, I'll stay right here. It's common property. Okay. All have right. a nice night. You guys Brandy. from 1101? Oh, yeah. How's it going? I'm going to let you guys get an education right now. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'll do my job. Right? No problem. Here's what I don't like. Here's what was bothering to me. Here it is. You got a man being racist and harassing. He's being racist and he's harassing residents in the in the in the apartment complex. The officer didn't say, "Hey, hey." Who you talking to like that? The officer didn't say, hey, watch your mouth. Stop being disrespectful. Did you see how calm and nice the officer was to this racist white supremacist? Did y'all see that? But see, I want y'all to see the difference between how that racist white supremacist act with those black people and this black person right here. Check this out. Watch, watch how the racist acts with a black person who really want to smoke, who really came to go to war. Check it out. Gotta stop, man. And I ain't playing, man. I ain't playing with this shit, man. Let me see your charges, man. 100%. All because of ignorance, bias statements. Based, exactly what you're saying. It's a hate crime. Two different cops. Officer White, who's this is the officer that's in that video. You should have been arrested. Fuck charge. You should have been arrested. That's what I'm saying. Like, what do I, I can't make it Shouting arrest. fucking monkey. It was wrong. Gender identity. There's the other one. Or arrestion, national origin of ethnicity. Right. Specifically by approaching in front of a residence of the victim and shouting fucking monkey. Where's the part of you calling him a nigger? Because that's, that's totally on here. This is, that's officer what? He was the one present there. This cop was not. This cop is the one. I actually ran this cop. Who's the, the officer that was present? This cop right here. What's his name? Officer White. 45 minutes before this happened, I chased him off this property because he's, the, the cop's been harassing me. Now, what I did was not acceptable. It's completely wrong. So I'm trying, I'm looking you dead up here. I'm trying to keep this. I, I, and I know. We coming, you know man. Like, you ain't going to keep doing this shit, man. Y'all not going to keep doing this. Anybody that really knows me and gets to know me around here, I'm not racist. Well, it's a couple of people that got enough choice words to say about you. Defacing people's cars. Yeah, You're going to have to move from up out of here. The this the is the cops defacing cars. I didn't do any of that. Listen, man. None of You're this. You're going to have to move up out of here, bro. You can't stay here. You can't stay I, here, bro. You I can't stay here. You're so, going to have to move, man. It's right multiracial families in this home. Yes. They should not be going through this shit, man. Right. This is well, fucking racism, man, at its best, neighbors, man. Other than the board members, they're the ones that have a prop right now. You talk to every other black person in this in this development, and they'll tell you how friendly they are. All right, well, well, you wasn't being friendly to that black couple that we saw on the video, well, and you stuck you your chest see out see and that told that us to come. Watch how many people pull up here at your house, man. Seen and Ralph said they're going to kill me. Listen, man. You could have handled it a different way. I charged you could have went. 
I press charges. And you know you were blatantly in front of that happened. man's face. The police did nothing. You were blatantly in front of that man's face. You put a soup cup in front of his face. No. You called him a nigger, a fucking a monkey. You called the person that was... So boom, right? Did y'all notice the difference? How he act with the first black people? And you see the difference how he act with that guy right there? Let me explain something to y'all about racist white supremacists. The racist white supremacists, they usually pick a fight or argument with the weak black people or the non-violent black people. They rarely, they rarely pick a fight with the black people who want the smoke. They rarely pick the fight with the black guy that's ready to fight. They rarely pick a fight with the black guy that's just waiting for you to say the N-word. They rarely do that. They go towards the weak. They go to the nonviolent black dude. They go to the, to, to, the, to the small black dude. And then when you catch him, when you catch him, like the second dude just caught him just now, they always act, oh, oh, I, I'm not racist. Oh, I got black friends. You can ask any black person, they know me. They know I'm not a racist. This goes back to what I was saying the other day. Joe Biden passed a law protecting Asians against hate crime. Clearly, what this man was doing was a hate crime. He harassed black people. And he was so comfortable with doing it because the cops didn't do nothing. The cops know he's a racist. And they still protected him. The cops know he's wrong. And they still protected him despite being a racist. See, this is why I keep telling you. These white supremacists. The cops are the allies. The cops are the allies. These white supremacists, they use the cops as their allies. They'll call you the N-word. They'll harass you. And as soon as they think you about to attack them, or as soon as you do respond and react and attack, they call the cops and they play victim. Just like he was playing victim. As soon as that black man confronted him, he played the victim saying, oh, they harassing me too. They harassed me too. This dude was out here harassing black women. This dude was out here harassing black women by uh, uh, spray painting disgusting things on their cars. Forced one woman to move out of the complex because he kept, it, he kept harassing her and she kept calling the cops and they did nothing. They did nothing. But if they was Asian, if that was an Asian, that he was making all those disrespectful, that let's say instead of instead of him calling those those black people the n-word, let's say those instead of those black people being black, they was Asian. He was calling them all types of derogatory Asian words. He would have automatically been locked up, and it would have automatically been a hate crime. But this good this goes back to what I said about Joe Button, um Joe Biden. What what are what is Joe Biden doing for black people when it comes to hate crime? How is Joe Biden protecting black people against hate crimes like this? See, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all don't want to listen to us until we about to hurt somebody. Now y'all want to listen to us. Y'all don't want to listen to the black man until you force his hand and then he has to get on a violent level for you to respect him. That white dude told the people that he was harassing. He said, I know the police officer. Y'all ain't going to do nothing. I know the police officer. Look what happened when the police officer pulled up. He said, white, what are you doing here? Get out of here. If y'all rewind the video... You'll see how he just said, I chased the police officer out of here. How you a civilian, you chasing the police officer out of here? So in closing, black people, we got to start protecting ourselves. Because as you see, 
The cops not going to protect you, especially against white supremacy. They not going to do nothing. He call you all. He call you all the n words. He can spray paint your car, harass you. Cops still not going to do nothing. You got to be able to. Sometimes you got to be able to take matters into your own hands and protect yourself, because it's obvious the cops not going to protect you, man. And that's unfortunate. And again, this is when I want to demand black people start demanding more when, before you give up your vote. Get it? Let I need people to call Joe Biden. I need people to call Joe Biden and ask him since he has a law protecting Asian Americans against hate crime. It's time to pass a law protecting blacks against hate against hate crime. And that was today's episode. Like the comment. Subscribe, <laughs> and I'ma catch you on the next go round, my nigga. Hello.